all my life I've tried to come up with something new and, and different. And I know that's somewhat impossible in the sense that um, a lot's been done. And I, I was a painter for, for most, most of my art career, but I, I just got bored with painting. I, I felt like I'd kind of seen it, seen it all before. Who am I? Some parts of many atoms, but minuscule compared to the universe. So how long does it take to drain this thing? Um, that pump drains it into the, into the commode. Mm -hmm. And so it takes 18 minutes. Oh, that's it's not a good. very powerful pump. I use inks, uh, acrylic paint, clothing dye, anything that's soluble in water, actually. Shooting from behind the tank because it's a large tank and uh, the, the paint needs to fall so it doesn't cloud up the front too quickly. So I look into a mirror that shows me the front of the tank, kind of giving away all my secrets here. This is certainly a very different process. Working with water at all, I've been working with water now since about 1985 in, in tanks. This is a, a 200 gallon tank. I used to work with a 100 gallon tank. In a way, it's like the opposite of meditation. Meditation, you try to throw everything out of your mind. But at least for me as an artist, I just let everything flow around. And I only stop, stop to, to think about something when I need to make a decision. The quality of randomness, that's what I find amazing in this, in this work, is, is how random it all is. How, how, how things come up that are so not designed and really out of my control. I just discover them. In the, in the editing, I find what I like in the editing. It's a real panorama, um, the way the paint is flowing around. It's very, it's very unusual. But I think overall this is like a really beautiful form right now that's happening. And I couldn't, there's an, I, I would have no idea how to make something similar to, to this exactly. The earlier work, which was landscapes, I did a series of plaster heads. Um, there's a bird series. There's another abstract series that involved pieces of plaster in the tank. But this, it's not exactly like a diorama. Um, even though some of them really take on a, a landscape form, but it's a diorama in, th in the sense that it's I'm working in a very in enclosed space. I love the digital age. <laughs> what do you love about the digital age? Um, it, I mean, as, a, it's an, as an artist, I think, it, and many other things, it's, it, it's never been so good for an artist because if you're a musician or, or, an, a, uh, or you're an actor doing movies, my God, you do one movie and two weeks later you're a world-renowned star. That doesn't have has never happened for artists before, it, it, because you couldn't get your work around this so easily. I mean, sure, slides were a big improvement than inviting people to your studio, but now your work can be over all over the world and you know, as as uh, JPEG images, so you you can be seen a, a lot more by a lot more people, and I a lot of people they look that's what they do they just look. Uh, they love to look at images, either for themselves or for other people. So I, the digital age is a, a tremendous help for artists. And I try to encourage my art, artist friends to take better advantage of it, but uh, they don't listen so much.